Hey guys, Techno Mitchell with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about the iPhone 13 Pro Max going into 2024. If this phone is still worth it, what to expect, whether you're thinking of buying it, upgrading to it, upgrading from it, or still going to be using it this year. Everything you need to know, we're going to talk about it. So let's get started. So the iPhone 13 Pro is on the top of the line for iPhone when it comes to the model when it's released back in September of 2021. Now this year, it's going to be a little over two and a half years and then three years of course later this year in September. Now the iPhone 13 Pro has a lot of great features which we're going to talk about and as you can see here it's a nice size phone here if you have bigger hands it works really well because of that 6.7 inch OLED display and it has 120 hertz refresh rate so it's a little bit much smoother than the previous generation of OLED and hence why you have that feature coming in. Now if we take a look at the back here this is of course the graphite or the space a gray color edition of it, three triple me uh, me megapixel camera here. On the back here, you have that nice bezel here. It's all flat all around the 5G MMM wave around here as well. And then you have the physical SIM card. And this is the last model, the iPhone 13, the last model in the US model that makes physical SIM card models. So if you're really looking for a physical SIM card, you're looking at iPhone up to 13 which is the last generation before going over to eSIM here. Now other things to mention about this phone here again it's stainless steel body the back here is a glass so it does have wireless charging capability. Now equipped with it is a A15 Bionic a chip with 6 gigs of RAM which means it has a lot of power to it. Now the battery is probably one of the more uh, interesting aspect of this phone is it has a 4352 mAh battery a huge size battery now, if you compare it to the newer iPhone 14 Pro Max or the 15 Pro Max, which would be the other two to compare to, this is pretty decently sized battery for this phone. Again, now if the battery is at 100%, you're going to get the most power. But if you used it for a little bit, if it's buying it used, of course, it's not going to be 100%. So that's something to keep in mind with it. Uh, other things about this phone is that it's triple camera. Now, if you go to your photography you'll see here lots of stuff going on here from just taking awesome photos to videos and one thing about the 13 Pro uh, Max is that it doesn't do auto enhance of, it, of photos that seems to be a big issue on the newer iPhone here so you'll see here less of that going on recording up to 4k in 60 frames per second and the new feature she came around with the cinematic mode when it was released you have things like slow-mo and time last again so awesome camera of course the newer iphone 15 pro max if you're comparing it there is a 48 megapixel camera but not the case with these three ones they're all 12 megapixel camera front is 12 megapixel as well so you have some decent selfies as well on it and the next aspect we want to talk about is the software on it here you can update to ios 17 without issues and you can take advantage of all the features that come with ios 17 which is the same software run on the ios 15 uh, iPhone 15 series, sorry, um, that has it, which means all of your favorite apps are supported. As you can see here, I downloaded some apps here and then they work pretty smoothly. You just open it up and they launch in seconds, whether you're using it for your social media or gaming. Now, it can do light gaming to a little bit on the heavy graphic gaming that if you want to play a lot of games, you can. And because of that size and the display, again, really awesome for uh, even. If you're doing some gaming here, other things around this is if you're using it for streaming services, whether it's YouTube or Netflix or whatever, you'll see here, again, that big display makes it easier. You don't need another tablet because this is almost a tablet size to me at least. And as you mentioned, all of your popular apps will run. There isn't going to be an issue where if iOS gets older, apps don't run. That issue will not exist on this phone. And that's kind of the good part about it. So talking about the pros of this phone is again the physical sim card is probably a big plus for this phone that is updated with the latest ios version it's fast it has that 120 hertz refresh rate you have that 5g as well with it now probably the con of it of course it's two years and it's going to be three year old phone the price is still you know decently priced now apple doesn't sell the pro max model they sell the regular 13 model but if you're looking for this one you're probably looking at amazon which i'll leave a link for it you can get it in discount i believe half the price now originally it came out for almost uh 10.99 now you can get it around five six hundred dollars so 50 percent almost discount and this phone again it's going to be good for this year for sure another 
two to three years without any doubt so you'll get those major update first so if you have it you don't want to spend extra money for the little upgrades like the island a display possibly even a little bit maybe faster if you're looking for formats but nonetheless it is very fast iphone with that six gigs of ram so again the 13 pro absolutely worth it to us in our opinion it might be the one of the better phones to get if you're looking for a used phone if you're looking to upgrade to it and you want that physical sim card and that's why we want to hear from you guys what's your thought on the iphone 13 pro max if you used it currently using it thinking about buying it leave it a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time